At the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology, we have a colleague named Dr. Yan Gavio. If you see Yan hiking in the field, you notice something a little odd. The dude just loves boulders. Often, he stops mid-sentence and peers through the bush expectantly, looking at a boulder. To him, these boulders are precious. They are a key to figuring out the glacial history of Montana. However, for someone who loves boulders so much, he seems to treat them rather roughly. What he's doing here is sampling the outermost surface of the boulder for what is called cosmogenic radionuclide dating. Well, what the heck is that? Well, Jan isn't looking for any boulder. He is looking for ones that were plucked from their original location and transported by ice. After the ice melts, the boulder is newly exposed to the atmosphere where it is bombarded by particles from space. Cosmic rays come from the sun and other celestial bodies and penetrate our atmosphere and perturb the Earth's surface, like this boulder. When they hit the boulder, elements within the minerals on the boulder's surface are modified by the impact. Their chemical signature slightly changes. While it is invisible to the human eye, by measuring very small changes in isotopic composition of the minerals on the surface of the boulder, Yen can tell how long the boulder has been exposed to the atmosphere, essentially how long ago the ice melted away. Putting that information together with mapping of other glacial features such as moraines and carbon-14 dating from vegetation caught up in glacial sediments, Yen is helping piece together the glacial history of Montana. So, if you see Yen out seemingly defacing boulders with power tools and a hammer, don't worry, he's got a permit. And in reality, what you're witnessing is a little geological tough love. Got the sample.